started here, and I uh, want to welcome you to to uh, to the anniversary rock. A little trip over it here, um, and uh, wonderful blessing. And but it's a great thing to be able to to gather here, and the weather has cooperated, and uh, so uh, let's let's get started here. Uh, the National Day of Prayer held on the first Thursday in May was designated by the United States Congress, signed into law by Harry S. Truman, 1952, and it was amended in 1988 by Ronald Reagan. And uh, as we mentioned yesterday in the little brief video, the, uh, the theme is pray for God's glory across the earth. And that's what we want to see is God's, God's glory. Um, and of course, the, the scripture was Habakkuk 2.14, for the earth will be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. And uh, Chris, I don't know what's the plan here. We got, we're just gonna share some scripts, share some of these uh, prayer requests and then we invite uh, anybody that wants to pray, uh, you know, to, to pray. And, uh, and we'll, we'll go from there. I, I downloaded this, uh, Chris sent, sent, Pastor Chris sent this to us here. And um, <clears throat> you know, the uh, areas of prayer, we pray for our government pray for our military, our media arts, our business, education, church, and family. And then uh, in the pastor, uh, <laughs> in, in the declaration, the presidential declaration, it, it talks about praying for uh, our, our medical people. Is there anybody else that uh, has a, a special prayer request, with whatever that, that, that would be good? Yes. Miss Beal, my teacher, she passed away not too long ago, and I want to pray for her family. Okay, okay. Let me read to you uh, the just just, just you know, it's quite long, so I won't read the whole thing. But this is the 2020 presidential declaration, and this was actually uh, signed and uh, written uh, May 6th. Um, so I had earlier the 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 declaration that that the president made on March 20th, and I thought it was interesting and a, and a, and a worth noting that we have had two presidential declarations requesting prayer during this pandemic and this this time that we're in and uh, and I think that's I think that's significant and and something that that we even as a group we should should take feel strength and 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 that that we have a we're in a nation that that we're asking for prayer and that our president is asking for prayer and and uh, and so it's, it's a good thing it's a very very good thing he says <clears throat> On this National Day of Prayer, Americans reaffirm the prayer guides and strengthens, reaffirm that prayer guides and strengthens our nation. And we express with humility and gratitude our firm reliance on the protection of divine providence. And that sermon, we could preach on that sermon or that sentence all by itself, couldn't we? Um, as one nation under God, we share a legacy of faith that sustains and inspires us. And with the heritage on religious religious liberty, today we join together, lift up our hearts. And he's got a scripture, 1 John 5, 14, that tell us when we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And, and I just want to skip down to about the third paragraph. And he said, may we never forget that prayer guides and empowers our nation and that all things are possible with God. How many say amen to that? Amen. <clears throat> In times of prosperity, strife, peace, and war, Americans lean on this infinite love, grace, and understanding. Today, on this national day of prayer, let us come together to pray to the Almighty that through overcoming this coronavirus pandemic, we may develop greater faith in His divine providence. And I just want to remind you folks of 2016 when, when uh, the Decision America thing went through our whole country, every single state capital, in the United States, men and women gathered outside to pray. And in Missouri, I wasn't able to be there. And some of you were there. Mary Jo, you were there. What was the weather like? Pouring, pouring rain. 4,000 people stood in the pouring rain in Jefferson City to pray for our country. So I don't believe the events of 2016 really happened by themselves. We were a nation that was in prayer, and we want to be a nation that's in prayer right now. And uh, we really need that, and we, we need to bow. And I thank you, and Chris, I'm sure you'd say the same thing. Thank, thank you all for coming. So, um, how should this work? You, you, just, you just 
just want to shout out a prayer or anything anybody I mean I know it's kind of intimidating to pray out loud um, and so I'll start Chris I'll call on you then well actually Chris why don't you start come on up here in the camera yeah you gotta we got this video so we can put this online here put me on the camera put me on the spot so I'm gonna have you start if All you right. would please brother All right. Dear Lord, we thank you for the many blessings you have bestowed upon this country, how that you have blessed us with freedoms that others do not have. You have blessed us with prosperities that other people do not have. You have given us so many gifts and graciously showed us the light of what it means to carry the gospel to all the nations. And Lord, right now we thank you for that blessing, but we also, Lord, we call upon you to heal our land, to heal the division that is happening between our people, to heal our country and, and its divisiveness we we call upon you to make your presence known again so that all people no matter what they believe will understand and know that you are the truth and the light and all the blessings that we have has flown through you because you have divinely given them to us you have provided in such a way that we are strengthened we are shaped by your power we are we are always in glorious supplication to your grace and to your mercy because you have provided so abundantly the Lord, we call upon your name. We call upon you to bless us, to, to heal us, and to show us a way. Always be guiding, always be providing, to always be working in amongst us people who are right now calling out to you, unified, and in the presence of many other witnesses. We call out to you as a unified group, Lord. Heal our country and heal our land. Amen. Anybody else? Anybody else? Yes, go ahead. Father, we come before you thankful that we can come before you. That through your only begotten Son, our Lord and Savior, you have made a way for us to come boldly to your throne of grace, confidently to your throne of grace, to receive mercy and help in time of trouble. And right now, Father, to us like our country is in deep trouble. And to that end, if you resolve that, I pray, Father, that you will surround President Trump with men who will give him some godly advice, um, that he will turn to you, he and his wife and, and Vice President Trump, and all of those around him, that they will keep praying themselves, and that you will give us the words to pray with them to guide him. Uh, thank you that you gave him the wisdom to turn a lot of the virus handling over to the governors, which is, at least in my opinion, where it belongs. So we, because I don't see where one size fits all. And the cities have a much different need for social distancing than, than we do here, where our closest neighbor may be a half a mile away. And I thank you that Morgan County has only had three cases, Father. Thank you for protecting us that way. And Father, for all of the stuff that's in the news, for all of those people who seemingly would like to tear down the country and to the state of the I pray that the truth will be known, that you will make the truth known, and that justice will be done here in our land and in our day. Father, I thank you for this group that's here today. I thank you that they are here to bring glory and honor to your name and to ask that you just guide each of us daily in our conversations with others who don't know you or seem to be going down a wrong path. Father, I thank you for these two pastors for putting this together. And I thank you for the Lutheran Church giving us a place to and I pray too, Father, for a revival in our land. And I pray that you will start it here in Stone and then let it spread to Morgan County, Missouri, and the U.S. Most of all, Father, we thank you for your Son, our Lord and Savior. And in his name I pray. Amen. Amen. Anybody else? Good, this is good and crazy. I'd like to just pray for you. Go ahead. Heavenly Father, 
we just bow before your greatness. This world, this earth, it's all yours. We own nothing, Father. It all belongs to you. Thank you for your love, for the graciousness of your son, Jesus, and for this community that we live in. And you just weighed upon my heart, Father, that I pray for these uh, churches in this community that we would unite. People who call ourselves Christians would unite if the churches don't want to. And that we may reach this community, Father, and touch the unsaved here and tell them about the presence and great hope we have in Jesus Christ. Uh, allow us to do this, Father, as just individuals and in, in, as believers in you and to follow you and to be guided. There's so many people that we need to need to talk to, Father, and allow us to tear down these barriers that are, that are blocking the way and just uh, go forward with the name of Jesus Christ. In his name we pray. Amen. Amen. Anybody else? Well, this has been a blessing. I'm gonna, I'll continue here, and, and it doesn't mean it has to be over, but <clears throat> dear Lord Jesus, we we do agree with all of these prayers, oh Father, we thank you, Lord, and we I too pray for revival. I pray for our local community. Uh, we, we pray for the healthcare workers and uh, all of those that are on the front lines in this in this pandemic, Lord. This virus has has had a has had a uh, just an unbelievable impact upon our our whole world. But Father, we pray as the Church of Jesus Christ that we might be able to move forward. I also pray for unity and 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 the what a blessing it is to see our churches come together. Father, we pray even as as the first line of the declaration says that that we read from the president. <clears throat> that we, we express a humility and gratitude, dear God. A humility and gratitude and a firm reliance on the protection of divine providence. Father, the divine providence, and, and these are words that are fundamental to our country from the very founding of our nation, from the very founding of our, of our republic, O oh God. The, the, the words of, of, of re, reliance upon divine providence. And we want to express our reliance upon you in a, in a state of humility. Forgive us of our sins. Forgive our nation of our sins, O oh Lord. And, and, and draw us to Thee. Draw us to Calvary. Draw us to the cross. The cross of Jesus Christ, O oh Lord. Father, where we would receive that forgiveness and, and wholeness and deliverance. Father, we pray against the forces of evil that are at work and at bay in our country, O oh God. And we pray that souls, precious souls would be saved and drawn into the, the ark of safety, we pray, in Jesus' name and for his sake. Amen. All right. Thank you all for coming. Does anybody else want to share anything? Any blessing? Anything else? I don't want to cut anybody off, but it's lunch hour. It's a blessing to see everybody here, and I pray that we meet again next year. We are 65 days from today at the Rock of the same Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, you don't have to leave, but uh, I think with, with anybody else, I don't want to cut anybody off. But otherwise, this would conclude our uh, our time together here. Thank you for coming. Thank you. You betcha. <laughs>